With quarter one of 2024 coming to a close and having delivered some stellar video game releases, we decided to peek ahead at the games that we think are the most exciting the rest of the way. So here are our top 10 most anticipated games from April to December. Number 10, Star Wars Outlaws. It says a lot about a property when it can be as polarizing as Star Wars and still garner so much hype and anticipation for a game. Star Wars Outlaws is such a cool concept on one of my favorite franchises. Jedis and Sith are cool, but I've always loved the scallywag space cowboys in the franchise, and this looks like it gives me just that. You play as K-Vess, an outlaw looking to pull off a major heist, which will lead you on an adventure across multiple planets. Along the way, you'll meet companions and enemies alike, as well as experience all kinds of combat. Guns blazing, stealth, vehicle, and space combat will all be cool elements in this game. I'm excited to see how different dialogue choices will affect and fit in with the world around me, and essentially the world of Star Wars as we know it. They showed some gameplay and while it doesn't look particularly revolutionary, it still looks like a hell of a good time in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars Outlaws is set to release on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox sometime later this year. Number 9. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle Terrible name aside, this game is really exciting. Indiana Jones is an iconic property and Machine Games is a rock solid studio. The graphics are stunning, Troy Baker sounds awesome as Indiana Jones, and the story seems like more than just a generic setup for the sake of a video game. In short, they're checking a lot of important boxes. The only reason this game falls all the way down at number 9 is that we're still having a hard time wrapping our head around the gameplay. It looks fun, but something feels odd about it. Overall, we're just ready to get our hands on it later this year when it releases on PC and Xbox. Number 8. Metaphor Re Fantasio. Metaphor Re Fantasio is Atlas's next big RPG, but you won't be attending school this time around. Metaphor is going for a high fantasy setting. The combat is also changing up this time for a mixture of turn based and third person action. One of the systems that's coming back is the calendar system. You'll have a certain amount of days to complete a dungeon and explore the surrounding area before moving on to the next. This feels like a fresh take on Atlas's previous titles. While there's no official release date, we can expect this game in the second half of 2024. Number 7, Stalker 2. Now here's a game I've truly been waiting to play for years. As someone who loves the Metro games and post-apocalyptic games in general, the world of Stalker has always been interesting to me. I was super excited when this game was announced, and every time I see something new from this game, my hype level builds. It's gonna be fucking awesome. This game looks to bring slick FPS mechanics and survival horror elements to the open world Chernobyl exclusion zone on September 5th, 2024. Set to release on Game Pass and Xbox and PC. Number 6. No Rest for the Wicked I'm a big fan of Ori and the Blind Forest. I'm also a big fan of isometric games like Diablo and I'm a huge Souls-like fan. So when Moon Studio, the creators of the Ori games, revealed their next game to be an isometric fantasy Souls-like, it immediately became my second most anticipated game. More on number one later. All of the early previews for this game have only amplified my excitement. By all accounts, the gameplay is super smooth, and the world is rich and interconnected in the same ways that make Dark Souls so satisfying to explore. We don't know an official date for its full release yet, but Steam Early Access is set to begin on April 18th. Number five, Black Myth Wukong. This game looks wild. In an industry where we are overloaded with Viking and Samurai games, it'll be refreshing to get a new setting based on Chinese culture. In Black Myth Wukong, you play as a shape-shifting monkey. I mean, doesn't that just sound awesome? From what I've seen of the gameplay, it looks heavily influenced by the Dark Souls games. I think what sets games apart in this genre is the setting they choose, and Black Myth Wukong looks like no other. Get ready to get into Monkey Mischief on August 20th, 2024, when Black Myth Wukong releases on all consoles. Number 4, Sinuous Saga Hellblade 2. As is a critical praise of Hellblade's Sinuous Sacrifice, it wasn't an if, but a when we would get a follow up to one of the most cinematic stories in gaming. Well, the year is finally here, and Hellblade 2 seems to be raising the stakes. Using next gen technology, the visuals are breathtaking, and I'm sure the story will pull at the heartstrings just like the predecessor. Being the biggest criticism of the first game, combat also seems to be improved and slightly simplified this time around. While the story seems shorter than most AAA titles, I think it'll be a great story to sink in over a long weekend when the game comes out May 21st. Hopefully this is the release that sets Xbox on the right path. Number 3. Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door for Switch Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door is the long-awaited remake of a GameCube classic and it's finally coming out this year. 
This game is a turn-based RPG where you play as Mario in a whirlwind adventure across Rogueport and the surrounding areas. Every chapter is unique and fresh, and all the characters you meet along the way stick with you. Personally, I think this is one of Mario's most epic and layered adventures, and I can't wait to play it May 23rd. Number 2. Avowed Obsidian Entertainment is back. This time around, they're bringing their wacky signature style back to the world of Pillars of Eternity in the form of a first-person action RPG. The game takes place in the Living Lands, where you will investigate a strange plague overtaking the world. I really can't wait to dive into this game's open areas and experience Obsidian's signature wacky dialogue and unique gameplay. Speaking of gameplay, you'll be able to use a variety of weapons from swords to magic to guns. This is a game I've been really hyped for since they showed the first cinematic. Obsidian has been a developer that has always brought unique twists to the settings they choose, and Avowed looks to be no different. While they have no official release date, I'll be itching to play this game in the later part of 2024. Number 1. Hades 2 I don't know what game it would have taken to keep Hades 2 from being number 1 for me. The first game is in my top 5 favorite games ever, and with its success, Supergiant now has its biggest budget ever to spend on the sequel. So it's not crazy to think this one would be bigger and better. Literally the only complaint I can wage is that Hades 2 will go through an early access period, similar to the first, so we won't be able to jump in and binge the whole game from the start, but at least it means we can get our hands on that sweet, sweet roguelike action sooner. In the comments, let us know what game you're most excited for. Please like, subscribe, and share our content, and until next time, stay nerdy.